Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to be going over uh, fill level, an application, in this case beer bottles in glass bottles, um, and we want to know if the, um, the bottle is filled to the correct height. If it's underfilled, we want it to fail. If it's overfilled, uh, maybe we want it to fail or we just want to know um, for future reference um, for adjusting the filling machine. So, um, yes, yeah, so in this case, this is a darker bottle. It's actually pretty hard to see through uh, with the human eye. Um, and in this case, I have it set in front of a backlight. And with these fill level applications, you're always going to want to have a backlight behind the product, behind the bottle, um, shining through the bottle and into the camera. So, uh, typically, everything else is going to be washed out. In this case, it's a dark bottle. So you're going to have the exposure time set up pretty high. It looks like it's pretty low, but in these applications, because the light's shining straight into the camera, typically you're going to want that set pretty low. Uh, for example, here I'll show you what a clear um, glass bottle for beer looks like. Um, so you can see that's completely washed out, and you're going to, you just have to crank that exposure time way down. Um, but yeah, going back to the the other bottle I had here. So that's what it looks like. So like I said, you have a backlight behind it, shining into or through the through the product and into the camera, and that's how you get this nice silhouette. Um, you can see this is the line of where it's filled to. So underneath, this is liquid. This is air. Um, so there's a couple ways you can solve this application. I'll show you the, the way I typically do this. Um, it's going to involve three different tools, two part location on edges tools, and then a point position tool. So yeah, let's start from scratch. So we'll, we'll do a part location tool. We're going to locate the edge of the bottle. And I'm going to do horizontal shift only. So now it's going to find the bottle uh, as it moves around within you know, the length of this arrow. So if the bottle moves this way, you can see that it's locating it. This green line is where the bottle is. Okay, awesome. Now the second tool, we're just gonna say okay to that. The second tool we're gonna set up is the same one, part location on edges, but it's gonna be fixtured to that first tool. So as, as the bottle moves around, this tool is gonna move around as well. And this tool is actually going to locate the fill line that we were talking about before. This one's going to be a vertical shift only. So the default on these tools is um, you're going to have two edges. And that's why it was red before because it didn't have the second edge yet. Uh, in this case, we only want one edge. So we're going to say OK. So now we have these two edges. As the bottle moves around, you can see that second line stays inside the bottle at all times which is what we want because we wouldn't want you know the bottle to be over here and this line to be fixtured to nothing and then just uh, falling outside the bottle so now we're locating the edge of the bottle and then off of that we're locating the fill level the third tool is actually going to give us the y coordinates of the um, of that fill line. So it's going to be a point position tool. If you go to the geometry tab, the second one from the bottom, it's called point position. You double click that and you just place that straight on the fill line. Um, and that's going to be tracking the position off of part location on edges two, which was the second tool, which was measuring the fill level. All we care about is the Y position of this tool of this point because the X position doesn't matter. It can move around this way. That's fine. Rotation doesn't matter. Um, and we can set the upper and lower thresholds for that. And yeah, so we say, okay, let's say this is the perfect, um, fill level. This is, um, what we want it to be at. You can actually set this Right now it's an absolute position in range, so it's going to, I think up here in the le top left corner is pixel zero, zero, and then it just counts over and down, 
um, in this case only down, which would be in the y direction. We're going to do relative to reference. Um, we're going to teach that. So where we train it, that's going to be pixel zero. You can see as I move this bottle up and down, you can see that that green this green thing moves around so now it's failing because it's too high and if I could lower it I mean, it's already on the table so it's as low as it gets um, if I could lower it then it this would fall outside this threshold as well and that's really all there is to it these three tools you can measure the fill level on any any bottle really um, and like I said, there's multiple ways you can do it. You can do a brightness tool down here, make sure that the brightness is darker than if it was air. So you can see this color is a little different. You can do it that way. Um, this is the easiest way I've found. And like I said, as the bottle moves around, your uh, see the point position tool moves in only the y direction. It looks like it's just staying stationary, but it's tracking off of um, that second edge tool. So it moves up and down with it. So yeah, that's all, that's all that you need to set up the fill level application.